Okay, hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I want to show you how you can install the Linux subsystem for Windows without the Microsoft Store. You might ask, why want I to do that? Because it's very simple to install the Linux subsystem or a Linux like Ubuntu from the Windows Store. However, in most companies, the Microsoft Store is blocked, so you don't have the option to download the Linux system of your choice via the store. So we are going through the manual process, which also works, and I'm doing that here in Windows 11. However, this also works in Windows 10, and in Windows 10 it's a little bit easier. I will point that out in the tutorial. Okay, everything I described here is also available in this blog post. The link is in the video description. Okay, the first thing we need to do is go to the settings open the settings and then go to the apps section here. And then we have to open the optional features. Click on that and after some time, the list will fill. However, we need to scroll down to the bottom here and open the more Windows features. This will open this window here, Windows features, and we have to select two options here. The first one is Hyper-V. If it's not available, like here, it's grayed out, then you have to check your BIOS or UEFI settings in order to have the virtualization of the CPU enabled. I will do that now and come back here. Okay, I've activated the feature in the BIOS and now I can select the Hyper-V platform here. Windows 10 users don't have to install the Hyper-V platform. They can just leave it as it is. And also we have to select the Windows subsystem for Linux. Click OK. Then the files will be installed and after some time uh, we will have to do a restart of Windows. OK, here we go. Restart. OK, now we have restarted the computer and now we need to download the Linux distribution of our choice. Of course, we cannot do that over the Windows Store. I have put some direct download links here in the blog post, for example, for Ubuntu, OpenSUSE and Debian. Okay, just click on one of the links and download the package. The package is actually an AppX package, which looks like so. And don't double click it, just extract the package. Um, best is to have 7-zip installed in order to unpackage the file. Go right click on the file, go to show more options. And if you have 7-zip installed, you can extract the package like so. And after we have extracted the package, we have a new folder here, our extracted folder. Just double click on it and start the Linux distribution of your choice application. For example, in my case, it's here Ubuntu. And for Windows 10 users, this will work right away. However, in Windows 11, we will get this error message here, which states that uh, we require a kernel component update and we have to visit this website here. Okay, we do that. The link is also here in the video in the blog post. And all you need to do is go to the link and download this update here, download the latest package of the Linux kernel update. I already downloaded the package here. It's basically a small installer. Just open it and click next and install the package. Shouldn't take too long. And after that, restart your Linux distribution installation. And now it will install the Linux distribution that you have downloaded. Okay, now we are almost finished. We now have to enter our Unix username and define a password for our Linux system. So I enter my password twice and we are done now. Our Linux system is now installed and I can use it here and we have installed our Linux system without the Windows Store. Okay, well, that's it. Everything I talked about in this video is also available in the blog post, all the links and all the extra stuff. Just click the link down below in the video description. Okay, well, that's it. Goodbye.